Hi guys, thanks for checking out this video. For this video, I've made my way onto the rocks tonight. I'm gonna to be fishing for squid. It's just a quick session uh, after work. It's getting dark early now, so I thought it was worth a, worth a bash tonight. So yeah, brought the jigs out of me tonight for the squid uh, and the 50 watt lamp. So uh, yeah, got one set up over the side already, uh, getting the area nice and uh, illuminated. Um, I'm just gonna crack straight on guys. I'll give you a quick run through the uh, setup that I'm using and some of the jigs for this video. So then guys, for this uh, trip out tonight, I'm using my uh, 10 foot 15 to 56 gram HTO Nebula. And uh, I've got a uh, Penn Spin Fisher 3500 on there loaded with uh, 20 pound braid. So then guys, got a couple of jigs I can choose from tonight. I usually go for the uh, DDTs. These are pretty cool. Uh, but tonight I think I'm gonna try the uh, Sea Weights squid jigs again uh, they did pretty good for me the other night so uh, managed a couple of squid on a short session with these so uh, yeah I got a couple of different patterns to choose from tonight but I really like this one you want to check this one out guys this one glows bright red uh, when I turn the light off I'll let you have a look now it's insane check that out that's crazy compared to some of the other ones crazy so I'm going to try the uh, red one that glows like red hot. Sandy or pouting. Looks like a tiny pouting or small prawn pattern. So yeah, going to try that with the uh, glowing red one tonight. I think I'll give them a go and uh, I can mix it up. I can just change around and if that tide gets a little bit heavier, I want to get the lure down. I use something slightly heavier like this one here. But usually I fish like a, a heavy one at the bottom and uh, one of these more buoyant squid jigs at the top on a uh, one up one down sort of uh, squid jigging rig which I'll show you in a sec as well. So guys here's the rig I'm going to be using tonight this is my braid here it just goes down to a small swivel I've just got a glow stick here which should be glowing when the light goes off I've just cracked it um, and then I just do like a uh, twisted um, sort of standoff snood there and then I just put a little lure clip on the end not sure if you guys can see that in focus okay but there's a little lure clip on the end there and uh, I just put a little bit of shrink tubing over the um, over the twists in the mono so that's the one that is at the top so I'm just going to put my lighter law I always put my lighter law at the top reduces the tangles so going with the uh, small one small little jig there and then from that guys just a little bit of mono, probably about a foot and a half. Goes down to another lure clip. And I just put my bottom jig on there. So it's like one up, one down. I'm going for the uh, for the red one. Let's check this out on the camera again. There's with the light on. There you go. You can see that glowing now, guys. It's insane. So yeah, going to go with that tonight. Both sea weights larger heavier one at the bottom and uh, this little smaller one at the top hopefully we can get something just gonna go with a little lob to start off with I think just in front Sometimes, guys, you can see them coming in under the light. You get the garfish as well. They tend to come in. I thought I'd just seen one there. The water's really clear. I don't know if you can see the jigs coming in there, guys. The water's really clear tonight, so it's ideal. Really ideal. Just doing a really slow retrieve guys and then just leaving it just so it can uh, drop down a bit in the water column it's not very deep though it's literally just doing like crank of the reel then just leaving it if you've not done any squidding before what you tend to find is you just get like a, a little bit of a dead weight on the rod tip and then when that happens i just give it a little lift like that and we're in 
wear into one. I didn't even feel that one, I just went to, to show you guys, but that is literally second cast tonight. Let's get this light on. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see this one coming in. Not a bad one. Not a bad one at all, second cast. Let's get him up. Probably gonna squirt me in a sec. But there we go. Loving that law at the moment. But yeah, nice squid to start the session off. Second cast in, and uh, absolutely buzzing with that. I was thinking this could be a really slow session tonight, but <laughs> yeah, nice way of uh, starting the session off. Nice size one as well, perfect for uh, cutting the head off and putting that on the slider for the bass. Yeah, ideal. Let's go again. Jig's just down there. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Is there anything following? Sometimes just leave it suspend there for a minute. Sometimes one will come out of nowhere and just nab it. I think there's a small pollock down there taking a bit of interest, but it didn't look like there was any squid then. Let's go for another cast. I just usually hit my bail arm straight over as soon as it hits the water and I don't do anything. I just leave it, like I said before, leave it just fall down. Sinking slowly. Nice and slowly. You can as well give it a couple of twitches like that. I like to just fish it straight retrieve, really slow straight retrieve usually. Nice way of catching bait, especially for the uh, summer bream, they absolutely love squid. I don't really eat them. I've tried them a couple of times. I think it's just my cooking's not very good, so they mostly just go in the bait freezer unless uh, somebody's after a couple for for the pan. But more often than not, they just go straight in the freezer. Perhaps uh, get stocked up for an eel session. Do an eel session maybe next week. So some nice big baits for them. If there's any big eels about. It's terrible these days down here in the Channel Islands. It's quite difficult to pick up a nice one. I thought there was one following there again guys, but no, nothing on that cast. Let's let this one sink a bit. Oh, thought it was going to be a really good session <laughs> after the first, first couple of casts. But I'm pretty sure I've seen a few on the light. But and I'm pretty sure I've had a couple of follows as well, but only had that one so far. A couple of casts in, no mind, but yeah, hopefully can get a couple tonight and then uh, I can shoot off because I'll have my bait for the uh, bait session next week. Well guys, it's been quiet for a couple of casts now, so I think what I'm going to do is put on some more natural uh, patterned jigs just to see if that can entice a bite or anything like that. I've got some that are pretty natural looking in the bag. And get them out. I might go with a uh, sort of suspending jig at the top. 
in a natural colour because that water is quite clear at the moment so I might try something like that that sort of pattern like sort of smelty looking pattern there and then maybe this darker one this darker one on the bottom maybe maybe try that just check the sink rate oh yeah that's alright it's ideal that too too quick. Might just try and put a light for a couple of couple of bounces on the rod tip, see if there's anything right under the light. Sometimes you get a couple hanging around. From following them up. Water's really clear though. Really clear. Let's get these out a bit further. Just to the edge of the light. And then click the bail arm over and just let it descend down of its own accord. With the bail arm clicked, it should just make its way back in as it's sinking have quite a few doing it like that so it's worth just mixing it up oh there's one on guys I'm pretty sure yeah there we go there we go change your lure did it change your jig even I wonder if that's on the top or the bottom that's on the top one the little suspended one hopefully he's hooked up nicely get him up so guys that's the uh, second one of the trip took the uh, like suspending the much lighter of the two jigs this one's internally weighted but not a lot very light so it sort of sits up in the water like that almost rather than droop down so yeah I usually like to fish one like that just on the uh, top snood but another nice little one ideal bait size that one actually Still not seen one follow up. You usually get them on the rocks where they follow the jigs up right to the light. And then just looking at the clarity of the water, it was really clear. So I thought maybe rather than sticking on bold colours, just go for something a little bit more natural, see what happens. I think there might be some under the light now. I'd like to think there is anyway, coming in on the feed. Right guys, that tide is coming up quite quickly now, so I think I'm going to go for a heavier jig. I think I'll go with the pink one, one of these slightly heavier pink patterns. What's this? 30 gram this one. So it's going to be a very quick sink rate. But I would want a natural one, but I haven't got a natural colour, I lost that, so I'm going to go with the heavy one and I'll keep the, uh, I'll keep this lighter one at the top. So 
So I'll get on running a jig a bit deeper for longer. Ooh, that's a that's a squid, I think. It's either a squid or the bottom. Got a feeling that first tap was a squid. Could have been the bottom. Let's check the jig. some weed on it if it was the bottom. No, it looks clean. Clean as a whistle. Could have been a squid that guys. Uh, maybe this jig is a little bit too heavy. But then again, be close to the bottom. Might do a risky one now guys and uh, cast it out, let it sink right down and slowly retrieve it and bounce it along the bottom as I bring it in rather than mid-water or just off the bottom. But I haven't seen any under the light really. I thought I did but it's not been that productive so perhaps it wasn't maybe it was like a small pollock or something here comes the rain don't want to be out here when it's lashing it down so I might have to call it early this trip head out again for another one not been too productive tonight. I'll have to pop out again next week, give it another go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's got one right under the light now what one's this on a suspending one oh he's just hooked he's not a bad one either come on oh he's just hooked i don't know if i'm gonna get this guys oh he's a good one. Oh, ho, he's a good one he's a nice one that Hoo -hoo. On the bottom one. Oh, well, that worked. Just thinking, I might have to pack up if it's gonna start raining. There we go, guys. That's that one I just had. It's not huge, but better than the other ones, and uh third one of the session which it's been pretty slow usually when uh, you bring the light out onto the rocks they're, they're hanging around it but it's been quite quiet tonight so yeah I'll take that any day of the week now <laughs> well guys I've been out for about an hour and a half now and uh, only three squid to show for it so I'm probably gonna call it a night now it's gone really quiet now in the last like 10-15 minutes so uh, yeah gonna pack up there call it a night and uh, and head off but I hope you enjoyed this video anyway if you enjoyed this video then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel that'd be much appreciated until the next video until the next uh, trip out for the squid on the rocks tight lines and uh, i'll catch you in the next video